Before we get into what's in my devfs rules file, it's best to understand what it is and what it does. So here is a very simplistic explanation, courtesy of the FreeBSD man page. The top section on the graph you can see is the device file system, and it provides access to the kernel's device namespace in the global file system namespace. The conventional mount point is forward slash dev. An example of the interaction to the devfs is when you say you want to mount a devfs volume located at, say for instance, foo forward slash dev. The slash dev is the normal mount point. Going down a section, we see another devfs. But this confusingly same name section is a different devfs, but very much part of the top one. This is the devfs control and provides an interface to manipulate the properties of devfs mounts. Linking the bottom section, the devfs.rules with the top, the devfs itself, this control utility can allow a user to specify which rule set to use. For example, the default rule set when FreeBSD boots is rule set zero. So with this utility, we can change the rule set for the system to use as well as edit it to our liking. The final section is the rule set we can define, rule set seven, for example, and provides an easy way to create and apply a devfs rules for devices that are not available at boot, say for USB sticks, etc. For devices available at boot, the file that we would be interested in is the devfs.conf. The devfs.conf file will provide an easy way to set ownership and permissions or create links to devices available at boot. Looking at the devfs.rules file, the format is, well, it's relatively simple. Empty lines and lines beginning with a hash are ignored, and at the top, a line between the square brackets denotes the start of a rule set. In the brackets should be the name of the rule set and its number, separated by an equal sign. So if you look at the top line, well, the second to top line, you can see we've got an equal seven. Once the rule set has been defined, it must be referenced in the rc.com file. As you can see on the right hand side in the red box, the rules in my devfs.rules allow me to access and mount, unmount various devices such as USB, video cards, drives, etc. by setting the permissions via the mode 666, or you could put 0666. After any changes in order to make the new rules take effect, devfs needs to be restarted using forward slash etc. forward slash rc.d forward slash devfs restart. Or you could reboot the system, but it's a lot quicker doing it this way. So this is what my uh, devfs.rules uh, looks like. Um, there's not a lot there, and it's certainly not overly complicated. It's just permissions for devices that may be needed at some point, or for devices currently used that need their permissions set. Please leave your comments down below if you think I need to change anything uh, in the file that you see, or if you have something that you use in your own devfs.rules that you think would help other people, then I'd love to know. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video, and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.